out there. Um, there will be a change of leadership um, with the men's basketball program here. And it's been a heck of a run, honestly, eight years. And I look at my job, I suppose a little bit old school uh, and multifaceted. One of the things is this is a place, and I believe yearly, about scholar athletes. Uh, and I've coached for eight years, tremendous scholar athletes. Four straight years of scholar athlete of the year in the league. I don't get into specifics too much of team GPAs and the variety of majors and the hardest majors at the greatest university in the world. Um, but I'll be leaving very proud of the team accomplishments. And the reality is, I did nothing for that other than recruit highly exceptional kids, men. I also believe in development. And that's a part of my job. I'm leaving proud of what my staff and I have done on the court and off the court of developing our student athletes. I believe deeply in culture, our core values. It's been a challenge in eight years, uh, a lot of changes to the climate of college basketball. COVID. There's been a lot we've gone through. And during that time, uh, my staff and team, players, administration, we've hard, worked hard on culture and uh, developing a, something we're really proud of. Uh, that's something I'm super excited about. And one of the things I just told the team, I said, my job as a coach is to hold them accountable, you know, to do what they're asked to do, uh, from boxing out to running the floor to remembering plays to executing the standards and expectations within the program. Uh, and when they don't do that, you know, Spencer doesn't box out and they pull them out. And, but the accountability piece is real. The other big part of my job is winning games. And this doesn't have anything to do with anybody else's standards, my own standards. I have not won here uh, to the level that I expect. Just like I hold my team accountable, uh, I'm being held accountable. I have no issue with that. Looking back, the relationships with the players has been tremendous. I'm very confident uh, as this sinks in and moves forward, I will look back at the last eight years uh, with great, great appreciation. Number one is the players. Uh, eight years of tremendous scholar athletes, talented basketball players. And I'm confident in saying that they're gonna do some amazing things moving forward. The dream for me is that somehow, that myself, my staff impacted them in a positive way so when they do those great things, maybe we help just a touch. Um, I mentioned the challenges over the last eight years. I want to thank Bernard Muir, uh, Carter Henderson. Uh, the leadership from the university has been tremendous uh, in a really difficult time. I know moving forward, um, it's going to shine. It's going to shine. Um, my wife and kids, man, they sacrifice. My assistant coaches, wives and kids, they sacrifice. And so uh, for Mindy and Gavin and Garrett and Gabby, man, Unbelievable appreciation. This is, you know, in so many ways, so many chapters are coming to an end. The Pac-12, college athletics continues to evolve. We talked about conference realignment. There's so many ends and so many new beginnings right now. I will look back at my eight years, like I said, with great appreciation, very fondly. I'm gonna lean on the memories and relationships I think I'm going to look back at, as a whole and be very proud of the things I've done. I also know I have a next chapter and hopefully many next chapters in my book. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to chase awesome. And hopefully I can be around people 
like I've been around here for the last eight years. Didn't talk much about the game. Didn't go the way I wanted. Happy to answer any of those questions.